Campers. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you are tuning in and creeping with. We are on the I-205 bike trail, which is adjacent to the Springwater Corridor. We're heading into Clackamas. Well, we're kind of already here. Clackamas, Oregon. We're gonna hit up the Target, see if they have any Simpson stuff. I also wanna do some Halloween creeping. I know Party City's out this way, or Halloween City, I think is what they call it this time of the year. And just kinda of see where the day brings us. I hope you guys are doing good. So stay tuned. We're doing some creeping. Yeah, it's beautiful out, it's like 80. Perfect. Stay tuned. Sunny side road now. We've got Clackamas Town Center, the mall over here to the right, which I also want to check out uh, to see if Spirit's in. But where we're heading first is over here to the left to the Target, Target. And then we'll probably head over to the other complex too and see if uh, Spirit location's going in. And we'll creep down here. And I think, well, we'll head over to Target first and then we'll hit up uh, Spirit. I think they're doing one out here. I could be wrong. But we'll just kind of see where the day creeps us. I do like these bike paths they put in out here, though. These are chill. All right, we've got the town center here, which we'll go through in a minute. Wait for the light and go over to Target. Pulling into Target now. And in this same shopping center is Party City. I think they're still there. I'm not sure. I know Halloween City was out in Gresham and they, I think they went bankrupt on the Halloween City. But yeah, this is a bigger Target, so we'll probably have a little bit more luck here with some of the Simpsons merch. We'll see. Yesterday, uh, pretty much. Just not the Marvel ones right here. So they had the Simpsons uh, six inch. They got a few of the what is it 2.5 mm -hmm. so these are 4.99 so at least we got homer that's cool so we'll grab homer i grabbed bart yesterday mm -hmm. or a day before but it was at the fairview target mm -hmm. i know the cascade targets are five says they have six well 205 has six of the plushies mm -hmm. all right thank you so much for showing me that all right we'll grab homer though at least you got homer still yeah those big ones went quick dude. oh yeah crazy I, I wasn't even thinking twice about it yesterday <laughs> coming into the halls like they still have bart though if you guys need bart and then do you guys have the collector section around here that's not like the toy aisle, but it's like the Funkos and all that kind of stuff? My back wall to the right, just past by the TV. That way. Thanks so much for your help, bro. Yeah, man. Appreciate you. We get we get toys every day, but I know over the Simpsons are just the new ones that just came out. I didn't expect to just They go fly. quick. It's crazy. We got a little bit more info. And I think that was the same device that the other employee used at the other target, but we did get Homer. I was I was gonna I was gonna pick Homer up the other day and I thought well there'll probably be a bunch of them but it looks like the Homer one's getting rarer and rarer too so we'll just keep checking but I'm hoping to get at least the full family set in the minis and then also in the six inch so we'll head over to the two, uh, where the spirit might be next but we gotta pay for this first all right we're gonna creep down here a ways oh, GameStop's closed dang dude time to day open because I know they have they might have some of the Simpsons stuff too. I think they open at, okay, they don't open until 11, so we might double back and actually check out GameStop too. Yeah, it looks like they're out of business. Ah, that's too bad. This is like one of my favorite Halloween creeps. I always like to look at this place too, but yeah, dang it. No, uh, no Halloween city this year, just an empty, empty store. I'll peek the camera in just for a second for good measure though yeah that's too dang bad i like coming in here basically just for halloween though i never really came here for any other holidays or seasons yeah we got we got the black barbie in the house i am too i'm like what the heck man rest in peace party city yo <laughs> you guys have a good one yeah pretty much all that's left is this old party city you can barely see it there the ghost sign I've always liked the looks of this place, but yeah, the old Party City checkered floor there. Yeah, rest in peace, Party City. Those people were funny. They're like, dang it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna cruise over to Spirit, and then by the time we get back, uh, maybe check out GameStop. I may come back, I may not. But I got Homer, so that's cool. Alright, just pulled up here to the front of Clackamas 
Clown Center, Clackamas Town Center. And this is usually where it is, but I just looked on their website. It's actually down on 82nd this year. So they took over this spot with this sleep number spot. But yeah, last year, or no, I guess it was the REI spot rather. So yeah, last few years it was here where the REI location is. So we'll have to cruise down 82nd and see if we can find it. It said it was inside the old Christopher and Banks, which I believe is like a clothing store. All right, just parked the Creeper Cruiser and I thought, heck it, we're already down this way. May as well creep into the mall real quick. In fact, I think the Spirit's gonna be in the mall. So I could be wrong. It said in the old some building, so we'll see. We'll see. The theater here. Oh, it feels great. Nice and cool. Film your next project here. Learn about our picture perfect shopping. That was kind of cool. All right, I'm not sure if it's on the top or the bottom, so we'll just kind of make our way through and see. Head down the escalator real quick. Yeah, I looked on the website, but sometimes the website, their official site, has the locations from previous years, so we may be in luck, we may not. I just wanted to creep into the mall anyways and check things out. They may even have a game stop here, so we'll see. They may not even be open quite yet. It looks like they turned the old Disney store into like a big old Hello Kitty looking store. Miniso. Oh, my friend Shimei would love this place. Yeah, this was uh, the Disney store for years. It looks like they got some Hello Kitty and Care Bears and they got this cute big old chicken here in the front. All right, we're gonna find the old Christopher and Banks, I think it was called. They said it was in there, so we'll see. As many people here that I thought would be, but it's also just like, what, Tuesday afternoon, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs next and check. I'm pretty sure it'll be inside the mall because like I showed you guys, the other building has already basically uh, been utilized. So yeah, I got the old school play area too. That tree's very nostalgic. All right, let's creep upstairs. Definitely not really a dead mall. A lot busier than obviously like Lloyd Center and Mall 205 is completely dead. So. Yeah, there's a few places that it could actually go into. I'm guessing probably here, but I don't see any banners or anything stating that it would be, you know, on this side. We got the old, uh, I think that was Nordstrom's on that side. So possibly in here, I'm not sure. Well, there's nothing in there. So who knows, maybe it'll be, maybe it won't even be here. Who knows? I've never heard of the like Jack's portion of it. That's cool. Yeah, yeah we got also the... also had the phone at one point as well. Nice, yeah, Target had the phone, but I haven't seen the doll yet in, in real life, as you would say. So $39.99, or $37.99, that's pretty dang cool. It looks like they have two. Ooh, he's even got the switch on the back. So that's pretty dang cool. I don't know if he's on evil or good, but we'll see here. Oh, evil Krusty. He said he didn't like me. Oh, oh maybe it's in the middle because he just said I love you and then he said I don't like you. Uh. Ooh, the evil laugh. That is so good. Are you guys able to hold these? That was cool to see the Krusty doll. I'm going to hold off though. 40 bucks right now. I'm just, I'm being a little little budgety I don't really want to go over budget and I've kind of already gone over budget trying to find the plushies and the toys so I want to stay you know kind of just on the same track and then eventually I'll probably grab the crusty doll or maybe even win it I know the Simpsons man said they were gonna be giving one away but we got Jar Jar Binks here ET and Spidey but look at look at uh, ET phone home here <laughs> and of course we've got Pennywise the creepy clown. Oh, do you want to play a game? That's pretty dang cool. Yeah, we showed this guys, these guys before the StarWarsStore.com, and they've got like a ton of Funko. So definitely a really cool 
shop it even looks like they've got some comics for a buck so that's cool but this is definitely the spot to be for funko but we're gonna keep creeping well maybe i'll ask them usually they do it in the outside mall oh so it would be outside yeah okay cool and usually last time it was right at this opening where the um cheesecake factory oh is. that's what i thought set of doors where that's the dave and busters we got the killer clowns funko too those are cool as heck i need to rewatch that it's been some it always makes me want cotton candy though <laughs> All right, just popped into FYE because they have gotten some Funko Pops and some other Simpsons over the years. I noticed these creepy Mega or MDS Mega Scale. We've got Wednesday here. A very, very creepy Pennywise. Look at that face. Only a mother can love. And look at this Jason doll, the final chapter, Friday the 13th. So yeah, if you need Halloween stuff, definitely not just spirit, but these guys have some pretty cool stuff too. Even Bed Bath and Bath and Body Works is getting in on the creepiness. Look at this. A night to remember. Ooh, I like their display this year. And then check this out. They've got vampire blood. Vampire blood candles, vampire blood bath bombs. That's some really cool packaging. Yeah, they're all decked out for the holidays. Oh, they even got some little skelly, little skelly packs and stuff. Those are cool, the little purple pumpkins. They got some thing looking hands kind of holding that up. Awaken your spirit. Yeah, that's cool. And then also check this out, the candy apple cauldron. Got the little haunted house here. <laughs> that's dang cool and the little ghosts here. Yeah, they got some really cool Halloween merch. These guys are early every year too, but I'm liking these ones. Kind of a nod to HP Lovecraft. Candy apple cauldron smell. That's pretty dang cool, I like that. Dang, I was just looking at that stuff that reminded me of HP Lovecraft, and look at this. Got an HP Lovecraft Film Festival, October 6th through the 8th at the Hollywood Theater. Wow, that's pretty dang cool. Yeah, I was literally just thinking of him with those. All that cool merch there at Bath and Body Works. But yeah, the Lovecraft Film Festival. Glad we popped in the mall real quick. But I'm not seeing where Spirit Halloween's gonna be. I've had a couple mixed messages. One employee said it will be in the mall. The other employee at, the employees at FYE said it might be inside the mall. So we'll just have to see. It does say on the official Spirit Halloween website that it's here at the mall. So maybe they just don't have any of the banners open yet. It is only August. So we'll just kind of wait and see, but we'll make one through, one more stroll through the bottom here and see if any of these uh, empty storefronts possibly could be it. We got C's Candies here, which is very classic mall. I don't think there's really many C's Candies left, but we'd always creep in as kids and get free samples. And these guys have been in business for many years. It always looks and smells so good. Thank you. Yeah, it looks so dang good. Pretty much a win-win. They got the boxes and all the goodies. So yeah, it's pretty much a win-win. It smells so good in here. Sure does. Dark peanut crunch. When we were kids, we would come in and just get samples. Well, we get samples today as well. <laughs> really? Oh man, you don't have to twist my arm on that. Oh man, brings back nostalgia. I always like the checkered floors too. It's definitely classic C's. And this was, uh, which one? That's the milk velvet caramel. Milk? Yellow caramel with roasted almonds. Ooh, it's kind of a win-win. I always feel like Homer when he's in chocolate land. Right. <laughs> and there is Mary C. herself right there. Yeah, that was cool as heck, man. They hooked it up with a piece of chocolate. I help you? What wine did we do? Mmm. I was like, when we were kids, we would come in and just get samples. She's like, have a sample. So I'm guessing this is where it's going to be. This was the old Christopher and Banks location. But I don't see any banners or anything yet. And they got the windows kind of... Yep, nothing. I'm, I'm thinking this was it. I could be wrong. Alright, I tried to find it, but doesn't look like they're gonna be out this way or this is too early 
So I just talked to this nice gal working here at the little kiosk and she told me Christopher and Banks was actually up here. So it is probably that location. I didn't see a banner or nothing yet, but we'll keep checking. We're early, it's only August. Are you on the hunt for it? Oh, you know it. I found the one in Gresham, but like, it just depends on what store you visit. The props change and stuff, and some stores have different ones, and so I'm a Halloween all year round, you know? <laughs> so I'm a bonehead, and I looked at, I was looking at the wrong store. That wasn't it. She actually, Olivia, who works there at the kiosk, um, told me that the Christopher and Banks store is up here. Uh, well, it was up here next to the dick, so it was the first place that we kind of poked the camera in. So, yeah, no luck on the on the banners or anything yet. So, oh well, we'll just keep checking. That's all we can do. But I'm glad I popped in because I did get a free piece of chocolate. That was good. <laughs> We've got some fellow creepers. Hey guys, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate that. Nice to meet you. Some fellow creepers in the building. That's always fun. <laughs> they were like, I see you on your YouTube channel. I'm gonna probably creep down now a ways. Maybe check out the other target, maybe not. But I just wanted to kind of cool off in here anyways. Get the nice carousel over here. Popeyes. Panda Express. Cinnabon. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep checking. The Creeper Cruiser locked up down here by the theater. Absolutely gorgeous. Feels so good out. Macy's still here. Just backside of the mall. The Creeper Cruiser's still there, so we're in luck. So yeah, I'm looking at the official. I like it. So yeah, it does say stores in Happy Valley. <laughs> ET phone home. <laughs> talking with this nice guy he's got an alien on his shirt but yeah it does say at the Christopher and Banks inside the mall coming soon so we're just early I didn't see a banner or anything so that's just the only two locations on their official official website so I guess we'll just check back it does say coming soon though just wanted to make sure I showed you guys so you weren't thinking I was trying to flub you one anyways we're out of here nice day at Clackamas got some chocolate a nice bike with the power bike the electric bike all right we tried but no spirit luck yet we'll be back back in the nice cold creeper cave welcome to the family homer like i showed you guys last time we do have the family set which came with snowball and santa's little helper which i don't think you'll be able to find single unless they do them separate as well but at this point we've got homer lisa and bart and also homer lisa and bart in the plushies and I just met a really nice guy by the name of Kevin who's a collector as well and he's gonna be on the lookout for Maggie and he told me he bought a few of these himself so pretty dang cool and I'm glad to have gotten Homer but now I definitely need to find Marge and Maggie in the plush and in the figures and then hopefully we can get some more of the figures at the actual stores I might have to just order some of them but I like to actually go to the stores and and find them it's fun brings back a lot of great memories of searching for Simpson stuff as a kid and just the nostalgia of most of the toys too that Jack's line brought back are kind of a throwback to the Burger King dolls and the original Mattel set so Absolutely having a fun old time out finding them, kind of just getting them while we can. Love you guys. Creeper out for now. Peace. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll dial you into being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell that way when I creep. You guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, Creeper out for now. Peace.